hey guys what's up welcome back to the channel it is servants thank you so so much for clicking on this video make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell and today i'm going to show you all how i achieved this blue flame bucket hat to match my blue flame sweater and if you want to see my crocheting process and how i did it make sure you keep on watching and obviously i'll leave the link to the video on this um sweater so you can you know check it out leave a comment or something so let's just get right into the video Hey guys, update. So I am done with the top. I have worked. I have worked in the back loops only already and I've already started to fold. So I'm folding it downwards. So I have both of my blue yarns. I have both of my blue yarns ready. So I'm just going to. Um, doing the blue flame so we can match with the blue sweater because that's what we're doing so anyway i'm starting obviously with the dark blue for the flame outline then we are going to have blue downwards the light blue downwards and at the brim of the hat so we're just going to continue small update guys so i'm about to introduce the light blue to the cap and boom she's in so we're just going to keep crocheting and I'm going to show you all um, time lapses of the crochet, obviously. So let's get back. Okay, guys, a little update. I am in. Wait. So this is the hat. I am currently in row number row number five. I think I'm to do six. Let me let me check my um, other flame. Okay. Okay, apparently I have 8 rows on this hat. By the way, if you want to see my process of making this hat, check the video in my channel. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box, obviously. And also the link of the video for the sweater of this hat. Like, I'm going to leave the, you know, the link because they are, you know, hairs of the same sweater, something like that. So anyway, so I have um, 8 rows here. And I'm currently in row number 2, 2, what? Four. Okay, I'm in row number 6, as I said. And, yeah, I'm just trying to quickly um, put it together. So like you know join the blue sides together so if you see um, the inside of any of my um, crochet hats or projects I tend to carry the yarn not while I'm stitching like I stitch like five then carry the yarn so I always drop the yarn so I do that because I don't like I don't think I've explained this but it's because I don't like um, seeing a different color of yarn in between my projects so I prefer to carry it that way then maybe tuck it in later cut and tie then tuck it in later so I feel like all the um, stitches that you see like say for example if i was working on this black surface and i was carrying the blue you're clearly going to see the blue all over this place and i don't like that so i just tend to drop the yarn and pick it up after so that's what i'm going to explain so i'm just going to finish with the body then when i'm about to start the brim i'll let you guys okay guys update i um have started a brim already that's working in the front loops only as you can see it's already bending so that's the brim so i'm just going to complete the brim i think that is either four or five rows i did for my other flame hat I think it is but anyway this is how our blue flame on the hat is looking like and i like the way it turned out okay i wanted to say something um it is actually very difficult doing a flame like to make it have that flame curve while working from the tip to the bottom i don't know what it is about it but it's making it's difficult for me to, for, for me to achieve the curved flame like you know when i am doing the flame from um, the tip to um its flare part so but i i made it work some sort of a way so i'm still happy with the way it um, turned out anyway we are going to be doing the brim right now then we are going to be done with our bucket hat our blue flame bucket hat and i'm going to see you when i'm done with it so more time lapses i'm out of yarn like i have just this place to finish and one more row and I'm out of blue yarn. Anyway, this is it. I'm just going to show you all the end. This is our oh my god. No, normally I'm supposed to end it with an increase and I am just here with the normal stitches. That's why it's difficult for it to flare out. I just did a normal stitch on this row. And I'm supposed to end it with an increase. So I'm just a normal row. So you're going to see it looking weird. Anyway, this is our hat. I kind of like the way it turned out. Bye try on. <laughs> Yeah, my ponytail is disturbing again, but uh, 
Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to <laughs> find more thread, finish this. Then the only clip y'all are going to see is me dressed up with the beanie on. So I think this is where we are going to end in the time lapse and or tutorial. If you, you know, <laughs> this is not a tutorial. If you know, follow that along with, if you know, making this. This is where we're going to end. And I'll see you guys when I'm ready. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And make sure you check out my other videos, especially of my other flame series, you know, the burn sweater. Make sure you check out that video and leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.